Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem called reverse walls in a string, which is part of lead code daily challenge. So the problem says we get a string S and we want to reverse the order of characters in each word uh, within a sentence. So it's um, a, a, a list basically of uh, words separated by space. Um, and we want to reconstruct the sentence while re and reverse every word. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, should be straightforward to do. Um, we could just split by space uh, first, split by the space here, and that way we'll get the list of words. And then for each word, just reverse it normally, like we reverse a list because it's a list of characters. Um, and then concatenate again um, uh, w by using um, the same space uh, separator, right? So, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, so let's, let's just do it. Um, okay, so what do we need to do here? Um, we definitely need to split the string, right? So this will give us the list of words uh, by space, and then we want to um, we want to reverse each word, right? So for each word, I'll do it first in like the simplest format possible. Um, and so here we want to append. Or actually, we could do yeah. So we we are going to construct a, a list of reversed words, and so we'll add it, and then we'll return, reverse it. But of course, we won't want to reverse it in Python. We c we can reverse by using th this. Um, yeah, in another language, feel free to do it however you wish, um, and then we can return the result. Um, you could also just do it manually if you want a reverse function, right? You could just grab um, the n minus i minus one position and put it at the ith position um, and do that for all of them, right? Um, yeah, so we want to return this, but we want to, to join it by um, space. So in Python, the way to join it is like this. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's run this. And let's submit. And that passes. Um, now, just to simplify this a little bit, what we can do is um, we can do this here. So, just the reverse of the word, basically using list comprehension, like this. And we can join this right away here, because this is what re res is at the end. And that way we could just return this. And then once you do this, you realize, well, there is no need to put it in a variable. We could just add it here. Right, and that should be it. Now let's run this. And let's submit. Cool, so that passes. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for today's problem. Uh, please like and subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.